Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a Spiegel Mom Scraps layout. For this layout, I am going to be using the free monthly cut file for the month of January. Now you will see I have a couple different paper collections here that I am flipping through. Some of them are from the Gather collection. This one here is from the Atwell collection. I really like this wood grain background and the idea that I had with this cut file was that I wasn't actually going to use use the cut file on the layout. I was just going to use it as a stencil. So here I'm covering up parts of the stencil because I wanted to use like four or five different colors on this this layout. So the first color I am going to use is this Snow Way Man Vibes from um, Shimmers Paints, and I like how that looks. And then I cover it up, and I'm going to pull out, I think it's No Yokings Colorings, and this is where it kind of screws up, <laughs> and it doesn't work out as well as I had wanted. The, um, the yellow was very saturated, and it kind of went all over. Um, on the background paper. It didn't really stick to just the pattern that the stencil is. So I was kind of bummed that I, you know, ruined that background paper. So I did the whole thumbs down thing. And so now here I'm just going to decide to just use the stencil itself or the cut file. And I really, really love how this turns out. And I'm glad that it ended up like this because I really do like it. So here I use Bed of Roses Spritz, and then I also use Well Blew Me Down, which is um, a bluish kind of teal color. I also pulled out Moody Mauve Colorings, and I don't really like the way that turns out, so I'm going to end up putting my photo, photo in that bottom left-hand corner. So here I'm using more of the no yokings, and I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the bed of roses, and then that is going to be it for the cut file. And here you can see I'm just kind of cleaning off those um, little bags that I had. So I tried adding a little bit more red to that bottom. It didn't work out as well as I had hoped it would. And so I am just going to put my photo down there, like I said. Okay, so now I am just going to set aside the uh, cup file and let that dry because it was quite a bit wet. And I am doing this at night and I am going to come back the next day and finish it up. But for now, I'm going to start layering and trying to pick out my different pattern papers to go behind the photo. So here I have this photo of my middle son Brennan when he was about two years old. We went to an art festival on the river and it was for the kids. It was very interactive and the boys loved it. They had so much fun. I've done quite a few layouts on this um, little event that we went to. I'm not sure if I scrapbooked all of them on, um, like if I posted the videos on YouTube or anything, but if I have time, I will try to post links to the videos that I do have scrapbooked and process videos for. So you can see here, I'm just spending some time using our uh, layering papers behind my photos. Um, I really like this Liberty paper. That is from the C'est La Vie collection. That is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite background papers. I absolutely love that one. But I was thinking that I might want to use it as another layer behind the photo. Um, but I wasn't quite sure if I really wanted to cut into it because like I said, I it's one of my absolute favorite papers. I love it and I didn't want to cut into it. So here I decided to do some outlining of the papers and 
Now here I have brought in a couple more uh, patterns from another collection. I think that is the most recent, not the newest Maggie Holmes collection. What was the last one? Now I can't even remember what it was called. Um, but I think that's what that floral paper was from. I just, I could not decide which way I liked it though. So I am going to fuss and fuss and fuss with this paper and the placement of it behind the photo. Okay, so now you can see it is the next day and I am going to decide to use this Liberty paper uh, for the background instead of using it as a layer behind the photo. And I absolutely love how the background turned out. I'm so happy with how it, it ended up. So I found some more papers in my stash that I wanted to layer behind my photo. And I am going to pull out, I think I'm going to pull out, let's see, I don't remember and I don't have the layout right in front of me because I have it already set to go in an album. Aren't you proud of me? It's my goal this year to start putting layouts into albums and I'm already starting it and it's only, you know, like the third week of January. This is amazing. <laughs> Okay, so here I cut up this little lemon. I think that's lemons, isn't it? I don't know if it's lemons or if it's just supposed to be dots or something. But I am outlining that pattern paper and then I'm going to glue it down to that bottom left hand side. And I am just really loving how these layers are, are coming along. I have the hardest time with layering and I watch so many people that layer and layer and layer and they can just do it in like five seconds. And not just because it's a fast forwarded process video. <laughs> Quite literally, they are just really good at uh, layering and I, I am not. <laughs> okay, so I, I thought this paper I think this is from the Take Me Away collection, and I thought it would be really pretty just to kind of do a little um, border up at the top and then at the bottom. I did make the border at the bottom a little bit skinnier, and I was thinking at first maybe I shouldn't cover up that number 27 on the bottom right hand corner, but I decided it didn't really matter too much. So here I'm thinking maybe I want to cover up that word liberty because this photo isn't really about liberty. So I was kind of like maybe I should cover it up. And then silly me, I think, okay, the problem before that I had with this no yokings was that I didn't hold down the stencil enough. And so the paint, the spray mist was able to get underneath there. Well, nope the same thing happened even when I used washi tape and held it down with my fingers and all of this stuff. It did not work out at all once again. So I was like, okay, now I ruined a second background. But since I really, really loved this background, there's no way I was going to scratch this background. So I pull out one of the best inventions and I am going to cover up that splotch of crazy yellowness <laughs> with my gesso and I don't cover it up completely here I'm telling you I don't really like it oh so at first I did try using this yellow paper to cover it up but it just wasn't gonna work so I do decide to go with my gesso and I'm gonna put it in the top right hand corner and then also in the top left hand corner to make it look like it was supposed to be like that right that's kind of what life is as a scrapbooker you make mistakes and you cover them up <laughs> so here I'm just kind of putting just so all over the layout and then I thought okay that bottom left hand corner needs a little bit of yellow so I used some of the the yellow that was left on my um, on my diaper wipe and that worked out perfect so perfect I didn't have to use a new spray <laughs> because I was kind of afraid to use that um, ink again or spray mist so here I'm just cleaning off the bottle. It got all over my hands. So I start kind of rubbing it on the layout just to kind of get rid of it. And then I'm going to notice that the top of it is still quite a bit 
you know, messy. So I just kind of drip some of the yellow on there. Okay, so now here I'm going to pull out my Zots, which are one of my favorite glues. And I'm just going to put it all along the middle of those, each one of those little, I don't know what you would call those, the middle part of each area. The top was kind of sticking up a little bit. I don't mind it sticking up um, just a little bit, but it was just a little too much for me. I just said a little bit like 10 times, didn't I? Sorry about that. So here I just use my Tombow Aqua Glue to glue those down and that is good for the background. So now I'm going to move on to layering and embellishing. I do feel like the I need to layer a little bit more on the background of that photo. And I really do like this lemon dot paper. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> and this plus sign. So I am going to do the outlining on these two papers and then I am going to place them up at the top. And that plus sign paper is more teal than the, the blue sprays, but it doesn't really bother me. I actually kind of think I like it because it does match the teal and the other pattern papers behind the photo. Okay, so now here I have pulled out some of my Maggie Holmes and um, Take Me Away embellishments. These are the Take Me Away wood veneer. And then that cute little acetate is from the, I, th I think it's from the same collection as that one floral paper, excuse me, that I couldn't remember what collection it was from, but it was one of her most recent ones. I don't think it was Bloom. And now this, oh, Gather, Gather, yeah, haha. <laughs> so that was the Gather collection that I'm using along with some Take Me Away and Say Lovey. Okay, so I am just kind of playing around with some embellishments that I pulled out. I have my embellishments set up by designer. So I have a little drawer to the left of my desk and I have Paige Evans and Maggie Holmes together in one drawer. And so that's why I kind of have all of their stuff pulled out is because I have them all stuck in with each other. And I just really liked these embellishments. So here I am going to cut off the excess on that acetate piece and it's just a little teeny tiny bit and I thought it would be a good little addition to a, another cluster. So I'm going to add it up there in the left hand corner of the photo. I am also going to pull out some of, let's see, those are Paige Evans's, um, what are they called? They're not well, I guess they're buttons. And then I'm also going to pull out her Take Me Away chipboard stickers. And I'm going to use a few of those on the layout. So I have these two cute little um, hearts. And I think it says wild and fun. And so I'm going to glue down that banner because I know I want to use that. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. Then I'm going to glue down the word wild and then I'm going to glue down the fun heart and I'm going to put half of it on that banner. But it's not, it's going to stay there, but I'm going to kind of change it up a little bit. Okay, so here I am going to glue down this heartwood veneer and I'm going to use my Tombow Aqua Glue, which I love my Aqua Glue, but I'm actually, I think I'm going to take, pull that up and the Aqua Glue is really good <laughs> if you aren't sure if you want to stick things down immediately. So I'm glad I used the Aqua Glue on that, but then I'm going to end up pulling out my Zots and, and using that as at, in the end. Okay, so now here I'm pulling out a couple different sequin mixes. I still wasn't quite sure which colors I wanted to go with, so I did pull out that pink pack, but then I am going to go with this Too Cool For You sequin mix. And I really, really love the blues and the yellows and the, the oranges in this mix. So here I am cutting down that little glassine bag 
which you can get that in the shop. So I will leave a link below to my blog post, which will have all of the links to everything that I used from the shop. So now here I just washi taped the top of that bag closed and then I glue it shut with my ATG gun and then here is where I'm going to have to wipe the the aqua glue off of there and just use my Zots because it wasn't for some reason aqua glue is really picky about what it sticks to and it wasn't going to want to stick to that glassine bag for some reason I don't know why sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't like to stick to glassine okay so now I am all done with that sequin mix bag and I am going to pop up this word and I think it says fun right wild fun I think that's what it says I'm going to use one zot on one side and then also a three-dimensional sticker and now here I'm just kind of um, dumping out the sequins I'm going to glue the top of the glassine bag um, to the top here just kind of like a tag um, but I didn't want to add a tag just because the tags that I have are more of an off-white color um, Jodi does sell tags in her shop as well so um, you can head on over there I will leave a link to her shop below so that if you want to go check it out you can okay so I don't know what I ran off to go do here now um, but now I'm back and I'm going to start gluing down all of these sequins in these three cluster areas. I'm not going to make you watch it all because it always takes a really long time to glue them down. No matter how many you use. Okay, so here now you can see I'm all done with the sequins and I'm just going to add some spritz. And then I'm going to be done with this layout. I do forget to add the title, so you will see in the photos the title that I did decide on after I had stopped the video. I hope that you have enjoyed this layout and that you will come on over to the blog and see some close-up photos and more explanations. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!